Welcome to Prebath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded region uh, confined uh, between uh, this uh, chord AB and this uh, diameter AC of this uh, given circle such that uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 30 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this uh, chord AB is uh, 30 times uh, square root of 3 units long. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Uh, we wanted to calculate the radius uh, of this circle. Let's represent this radius by lowercase r and here's our next step i have connected uh, this uh, point b with this uh, center o as you can see over here and now we can see that this is the radius uh, of this circle and this is the radius of circle as well let me represent this radius by lowercase r and this by lowercase r as well and as a result, we can see that this uh, triangle AOB is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side is equal to this side. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 30 degrees as well. So therefore, our angle ABO turns out to be 30 degrees. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, OD on this uh, line uh, AB. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. We got this uh, AOB as an isosceles uh, triangle and uh, OD is the perpendicular. Then uh, this uh, side uh, BD is going to be equal to this uh, line segment uh, DA. So in our case, we know that this whole uh, chord length is uh, 30 times square root of 3. And we know that this side length uh, equals to this side length. So therefore, this uh, side length has got to be 15 times the square root of 3. And likewise, uh, this segment is going to be 15 times the square root of 3 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADO. And now we know that this is our 90 degree angle, this is 30 degree angle, so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees, since the sum of three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we got this uh, 30, 60, 90 degree special uh, triangle. And here I have copied down uh, this uh, triangle uh, ADO. And here we can see that this 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest leg. And this angle is our largest angle, 90 degrees. So the side opposite to this one is going to be our largest leg. And in such kind of triangle, the largest leg is twice as the smallest leg. So therefore, if the smallest leg is X, then the largest leg is going to be a 2 times x and this uh, third leg is going to be x times uh, square root of 3. And in our case, our AD length is 15 times square root of 3. As you can see over here, so therefore our smallest leg is going to be 15 and our largest uh, leg is going to be 30. So therefore our this uh, AO length uh, turns out to be 30 units. So therefore our radius uh, R turns out to be 30 units and this uh, is going to be 30 units as well since it's the radius uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AOB. We know this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees as well. And since the sum of the angles uh, in any triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 120 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AOB once again. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, AB times uh, sine of angle C, as you can see in this uh, triangle. And here A and B are our uh, side lengths, uh, and C is the angle uh, in between them. 
And here in our case, uh, our side lengths are 30 and uh, 30 and the angle between them is 120 degrees. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle AOB is going to be equal to, I'm going to fill in the blanks in this formula. So this is going to be a half uh, times uh, 30 times uh, 30 times the uh, sine of uh, 120 degrees. And now we know that the sine of 120 degrees uh, is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks for that one. So it's going to be 1 divided by 2 times 30 times 30 is uh, 900 and then times the square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. So therefore uh, if we simplify the right hand side our AOB triangle area is going to be 225 times the square root of uh, 3. And here's our next step. We know that this whole straight angle is uh, 180 degrees and we know that this uh, angle is uh, 120 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, sector BOC. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi r square. And in our case, our radius is 30 and our angle uh, theta is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, this sector area is going to be equal to we are going to fill in the blanks this thing. Our angle theta is 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi and r in our case is 30 whole square. And here we can see 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to reduce to 1 divided by 6 and 30 square is going to give us 900. So therefore the area is going to be 900 pi divided by 6. So if we simplify the right hand side this is going to give us 150 pi as our this sector area. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this total green area is going to be the sum of this uh, triangle AOB area plus the area of this uh, sector. And here's our triangle AOB area and here's our uh, sector area. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So I'm going to replace this uh, triangle AOB area as uh, 225 times uh, square root of uh, 3 plus the sector area is uh, 150 pi. So thus our green shaded area turns out to be a 225 times square root of 3 plus 150 pi square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 860.95 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.